Welcome to Blackest Widow Tarot. I'm your girl. I'm your host, Nadi. And y'all already know I'm looking like a cinnamon toast crunch. I know you want to eat me up, but you can't. Mm -mm. But anyway, we're going to get into a general message for you, lovelies. And um, I'm about to pull out the secrets. I'm about to pull out all of the things that you need to know, the things that you need to be aware of. I'm going to expose people who try to think that you're a fool. And I'm going to expose you if you need to be exposed. So, let's get into it. You know I gotta like my girl. <laughs> gotta come to your prayers that you open up my third eye so that I can give the collective all of the information that they need to know on this Monday. I also ask that any energies that are not mine or any entities that may be lingering around that do not belong in my atmosphere, I ask that you send them back to hell. Amen. Love and light, abundance and protection. Love and light, abundance and protection. Love and light, abundance and protection. Y'all, I'm hearing you need to go get you some Palo Santo and start lighting it whenever you get home from work, before you get, when you get up in the morning, you know, trace, go around your house, trace yourself, trace every room that you be in, trace your bed. And it's because I'm feeling like you need to, how I blew that ash, you need to banish spirits that are not welcome in your home, energies that are not welcome and do not belong to you back to the depths of hell. Because not only am I feeling like a lot of the collective is being attacked by weirdo exes, weirdo ex-girlfriends, hating family members, hating friends. So I want you to protect yourself. Work without Faith without works is, is nothing. It's dead. So you can't just expect God to just save you. He will save you, but you also have to do work too. He, Do you not know he's watching over a lot of people? So some things are going to slip by him. That's what where you come in. You're supposed to be protecting yourself also. But enough of that. You already know the deal. Let's get into the clarification. <sighs> Hopefully it's nothing too juicy, but if it is, I'm going to expose it. Expose what's going on on this Monday with the collective. What's going on if the collective needs to know about? What's going on if the collective needs to know about? What does my collective need to know about? Mm -hmm. What does my collective need to know about? Something is coming up that you're going to have to use your intuition about. This may be a lover. This may be a friend. This may be family. This may be a job. This may be an offer. This may be anything because it's saying the red flags you ignore now will come and bite you in that big old rump of yours later. Give me some more. What else do they need to know? What else does the collector need to know? What else does the collector need to know on this Monday? What is going on? What is going on? I'm hearing what's new, pussycat? Whoa. So something, <laughs> something is about to happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, you're going to have to make a decision about something. That's why you need to use your intuition. See, something is coming in divine time and something's cooking up. Something is literally cooking up. You're going to need patience. You're going to need to use your intuition. You're going to need to basically not use your heart in this situation because your heart is going to end up broken when you find out what you're about to find out in a couple months, a couple weeks, or a couple days. See, it may be regarding a relationship mm, 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 mm. from a narcissist. Confirmation. They're about, to, they're about to come in and give you a false offer. <laughs> Beware. This person has somebody already... They already are in a relationship, situationship, whatever you want to call it, even a wedding, even a, a marriage. Somebody even got married recently, but they're going to come and reach out to you. That's why it's mandatory and important that you use your intuition because this person thinks that you are a fool in love. Not while I'm around. <laughs> Give me some more. What else is the collector needs to know? What else is the collector needs to know? That is what's new, pussycat. Whoa, 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 whoa. And this person spying on you. I told you they're, they're about to come and confess something. Or confess their confirmation. 
confess their feelings for you, confess their love for you, but really it's fake. This person is, a, they see you getting away. You see how this plane is going? Yeah, you see all them two hearts? Your heart is fading away. You are literally leaving the situation. And this person has to what? Come in, give you a fake offer. Because they've been watching you do your thing. They've been watching you move on. They've been watching you date. They've been watching you basically heal yourself. And they want to come back and break you back down. This person may be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. They're going to ask you to go on a date with them. But this person is somebody who is bisexual. They may be gay or a lesbian. And you don't know that that's a secret that they hide from you. They're going to come in wanting to have sex with you. Don't allow it. They've been manifesting you in. And they're also manifesting trapping you. Because right now they're going through karma. And they want to change the fate. They see they think that trapping you will basically reroute them to a new life. See, they need you more than you, need, than you know. You don't need them. They need you. This person's a big old liar. And they're wanting and hoping that you open up your heart to them so that they can deceive you. This person is going to text you and they may just have an STD. This person is going to try to do sex magic on you so that you feel bound to them. And also another story, this person feels like they can't get over you even though they're, they're in a in, even though they're, they're in a marriage, even though that they may be in a situation, even though they may be diddling and dabbling in all sorts of different people. They still feel you. They still come back to you. They still stalk you. They still watch you. They still obsess about you. Mainly because you were divine. You were meant to be with this person. You were meant to take them out of whatever situation they're in. And it was supposed to be healthy. But they chose not to be healthy. They chose to be sick. And now their karma has come. You haven't bewitched this person. You were just meant for this person. So they feel... Like you've done some magic on them when you haven't. I'm hearing also another story that they're they're with somebody who does magic on them. If it's if it's a female, and she made spaghetti that night, her period blood is in it. If it's a male, and you know if it's a woman and you're dealing with a male, he has probably made you a milkshake, and best believe his juices are in it. This person is also going through money problems. This may be an air sign, G, G, Gemini. Libra or Aquarius, but God is protecting you. He's literally sent me into your life to warn you. These people. Are liars. They're going through karma. They want you to come save them. They're narcissistic. They are going to play on your emotions. This person is going through mental problems, physical problems and sexual. A sexual identity crisis. They're going through money problems. They're flighty, so they're never going to give you an offer that you deserve. And they're going to try to communicate with you, send you a text message, send you, send you a phone call. Y'all, let me tell y'all something. Tell me why. I know this is true for y'all because I know that these people are going to contact y'all. Tell me why somebody from the past come, come texting me last night. I'm like, uh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Block. Delete. I send you on with love and light. That is what you need to do. When this person comes to text you trying to be all sweet, awesome, hey, I don't, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care how you may feel about this person. I don't care what type of hopes and, and dreams you have for this person. I'm going to need you to kindly, kindly let them know that it's never going that way ever again. Don't allow them to be hanging on to a delusion that you still want them. Put them in their place. When I say blow up their narcissist, blow up their narcissist. Blow the ego off of them. I don't want you. I'm not interested. Then I need you to take them little fingers of yours, go to the contact, block them, delete them, and move on. Period. What I say, because you need to move on. This person is a time waster. And they need you for something. <laughs> mm. Ugh, what a roach. Can I get can y'all drop the roach roach emoji in the in the chat because in the bottom of the comments because it's giving very much roach energy. Ugh. Time to get the rage. <laughs> anyway, let's get some hidden truths on this situation. Give me some hidden truths. What is the collector needs to know? What is the collector needs to know about this roach? 
What does the collector need to know about this roach? I'm tapping in into the roach. Give me some information. Give me some information. See, this person likes to keep secrets. I mean, they are a liar. <laughs> tell me the truth about this situation. God, tell me the truth. Tell me the truth. Tell me the truth. What's this person's truth? What's this person's truth? What's this person's truth? What's this person's truth? I'm tapping into their truth. What is their truth? What is their truth? They started to understand you all's connection a little too late. This person still is holding on to you. They love you. They know that they messed up everything and they're waiting on a sign from you. They want to be, come back into your life and be more than friends. And um, they were a runner and they were a player. That's why they weren't. They didn't allow you to get close to them. Every time they listen to music, they think of you, they hear you. And they stay up all night reminiscing about the good times. But they knew exactly what they did when they hurt you. Yet everything reminds them of you. And this person is over there losing their self. When I say drinking, smoking, partying, doing crazy sexual things and trying to just basically forget what they've lost. But literally, you've left them behind. And they want you to know that nobody came closer than you. And God is using you as a spiritual lesson because when they let you go and now you're gone forever. They want to get back with you, but this person is currently in a relationship. And when they come back to you, they're going to be using you as a distraction from their pain. You're nobody's distraction. They need a distraction. They better go turn on some TV, read a book. They feel you even though that you all apart. You are not with this person. You have not contacted this person. You have not been thinking about this person. And they feel that. That's why the narcissist is about to come back and put his claws into you. Because they want to feel happy again. They want to feel loved again. They know that you were the best thing in their life. And they are missing out. They're watching you live your best life while they're crying. They look for you everywhere. They be stalking you. They be going to places that they know that you be at in hopes of you showing up. But you're not. <laughs> they're wasting their money and their time. And when you found out the truth about this person, it crushed you. And they knew. They knew they were, they were supposed to treat you better. But yet, they still did what they did. <sighs> Sound like somebody not worth your time to me. Sound like somebody that's not worth your heart, not worth a second chance to me. Give me some information for the collective. What does the collective need to know and be aware of? What does the collective need to know and be aware of? What does the collective need to know and be aware of? Oh, happy days. Oh, happy days. So you're going on to way better days. And this person, when I say all I see is somebody depressed, just sitting like this, hitting themselves across the head because they messed up. That's their karma. They ain't got nothing to do with you, baby, because you tried to help this person. You tried to love this person. And what do they do? They turned the left cheek and ran the other way. This person, God said, look for peace. Disconnect from negative people, places, and things. Why? Because these people are holding back your blessings. These friends, family members, lovers, all these people who are low vibrational, they are holding back your blessings because you are a chosen one. Things are supposed to happen fast for you. This person knows that they lost you as a lover and a friend. <laughs> Sucks to be them, huh? Mm. And God is allowing you to step on their necks to get to the top. And God is saying, don't be afraid to put yourself first. Don't be afraid to be selfish when it comes to your dreams, when it comes to who you put your time into. Because you are a chosen one, baby. You deserve quality, not quantity. This person was okay with quantity, not quality, until they lost quality and realized their quantity doesn't match up to you. <laughs> God is literally, bring, when I say this person is going through hell right now, <laughs> and it's only their karma because why? 
they broke your heart. It's maybe somebody's first name, your first name, or somebody's last name. This person is currently some more of their karma is going through relationship issues. Their relationship that they're in is not happy. The relationships they get in, they don't last long. <laughs> they're being used and they have to use people too. So it's transactional. <laughs> this person may want to come back and get revenge. Somebody they're dealing with wants revenge on you because you're living a life that they want. And, and, and then they're so delusional that they think that you want this person. They think that they have to really, really amp up the magic that they're doing on this person to keep them from you when you don't even want them. This may be somebody's first name, your first name, or somebody's last name. God is saying, if you give this person a chance, only thing you're going to be screaming is, here we go again. It's going to be the same cycle. You're going to be sitting there crying. If you feel like you want to okay this is these are for this is this is a message for somebody who feels sexually frustrated and really wants to just go and you know have fun god is saying work out go let that straight that frustration out in the gym okay rebuild yourself make yourself look even sexier for when the person comes in your life that he sins you can beat them down into the bed sheets because the knees are going to be kneeing and your body gonna look right, so you're not gonna be afraid to have the lights on. You could be the nastiest that you've ever been, cause you know you look good. And a second message, I need y'all to get in the gym. When you get in the gym and you attract and you make a better you, you will attract someone who's better for you, sexy, desirable. When a person work out, that's how you know that they care about themselves. So. Go care about yourself. It don't even matter if you go in there to run, run for five minutes and go home. At least you did something. You sweated out all those toxins, didn't you? That's the step. Because this person from the past is love sick right now. Love sick, wanting you back in their life, but they already are in some, you're already in a relationship, so they do not deserve, they need to get you off their brain. If they're giving emotions to somebody else, they how dare they have the have the thought of you? That's why they're going through karma because they're always in another pot. They all their hand is always in another cookie jar. Except for instead of the cookie jar that they have invested in. God is literally always smacking this person's hand. But they don't learn a lesson. This is your ex. This may be somebody's first name, some your first name, or somebody's last name. God is saying, do not get reattached to this person. They have nothing. They have nothing no car no house and they're sleepy, secretly coming in to leech off of you and their sexuality is in question this may be somebody's first name your first name or somebody's last name but you're moving on to bigger and better things <laughs> meanwhile this person is crying in the car i don't know why they're crying they weren't crying when they did that to you when they made you cry this person wants you to be a fool for them again. This person grew up with narcissistic parents, friendships, friends. They're narcissistic. They they are their environment. Yet they did not try to change or heal. So they just became a bigger, a more, a way, a king, queen, narc. This person is going to make you into a fling. So when they come back, they're going to act like, oh, I want a relationship, a, a real deal commitment. But they're going to treat you just like an option again. And then they do, then they be at work embarrassing you. So if you get back to this person, best believe they're gonna be embarrassing you at work. Or they may, in another story, their person that they, they're in a relationship with or a marriage with, they work with that person too. This person is over there drinking up a storm, smoking up a storm, trying to forget you. But it's mainly not only trying to forget you, but trying to feel less guilty of how they treated you. This person's fake a foe. You may have a lot of foes around you, fake friends, fake co-workers, fake people. But God said, don't mind the losers. Keep going. Because your destiny is about to be very, very prosperous. Very, very bright. Stay determined. Keep going towards your dreams. This person, your name may be start with a D. Their name may start with a D or somebody's last name. This person is going to go out. We saw that earlier when... We said they said that they were going to try to take you out on a date. This person plans on coming to communicate 
a false offer, wanting you to let your guard down. This person has health issues. They're a liar. They're going to text you. And they're going to want you to open up your heart to them so that they can trap you with something. It could be a baby or it could be an STD. They're going to want to have sex with you. And um, what did they say? Let's go out this weekend. This person thinks that, oh, if I wine and dine you, you will allow me to waste your time. Don't allow this person to come and waste your time. Because all they're going to do is what? Run away. And they're going to get, when I say it's going to end up in betrayal, backstabbing. Sorry. And you may just be bewitched by this person because if you have sex with them, trust me, it's voodoo behind it. It's some type of magic behind it. And it's not even, this person may not know that they are doing it, but if they're dealing with somebody who does magic on them, they're basically under attack. So when they get in, when they enter you or anything of that nature, you're going to be under attack. This may be somebody's first name, somebody's last name, or your first name. Recap before I get into anything else. This is somebody who is obsessed with you. They know that they basically don't have a chance with you, but they're going to try because they're narcissists and their ego is on 10. They think that, who, who's better than me? Everybody wants me. I, my games and my manipulation is top tier. They're never going to be able to. They, they go that night, that night. They're literally about to come and aggravate you. When confirmation, when you get this message from this person or this call, you're literally going to be like, not this person again. Confirmation, because it is. But anyway, this person is struggling with their sexuality. Or if they're not struggling with it, they just keep it a secret. This person is going to plans on coming back and trapping you with either an STD or a child, male or female. They already have somebody, so they're in a relationship or a marriage or situationship, whatever. They have work days. They probably work with this person. So basically, you would be a fool in love to go back to this person. So give this person another chance. You're going to be basically put under more spiritual attack because this person is dealing with somebody who does spiritual magic, the dark kind. Or they may also dibble and dabble in it themselves. This person is the devil. They also are your secret admirer. They be watching you. They be stalking you. But God says, this is a test. Once again, he's about to test you so that he knows when to bless you. See, if you fail the test, he sees, okay, you're not ready. You're not ready for the blessings that I want to give you. You haven't learned the lessons that I have been putting you through. So let's go another round. Do you want to go another round of this? I don't think I don't think you do. I don't think you do. I don't think you do. So pass the test. This may be somebody's first name, your first name, or somebody's last name. Because this person is basically going to come in and drain you dry of your energy. They are an energy vampire. And they watch, I told you they be spying on you, they be watching you. They watch you from afar because they know that they can't have you. You are out of this person's league. You are moving on. You have healed. And baby, why would you want this person back? Especially if they're trying to keep you in a third party. Ew. And I told you this person has some type of magic attached to them. The sex magic they did on you backfired. Now they're obsessed with you. You are this person's karma. They're going to come back in trying to reverse their fate reverse their karma and they still gonna try to do sex magic on you by having sex with you this person is so obsessed that they just sit back and think dang like not only did i mess up mess up my blessing they're starting to see we saw they see the connection for what it is now now they're over there obsessed scared the obsession that they're growing over you is starting to scare them to the point where they're drinking and smoking. They're just like, why am I always thinking about this person? Why am I always obsessing over this person? Why am I always checking up on this person? Why am I always wanting to reach out to this person? Why do I get mad when I see them looking happy? Why do I get mad when I'm over here stalking them and I see them going on a date? Ah, this person is going crazy. God is saying, do not accept any small offers in love, money, life, or anything. This person is a breadcrumber. So that is a small offer. They're not about to give you a full relationship, a full commitment. You will be somebody on the side. Their favorite on the side. That's a small offer. This person is stuck on you, reminiscing about you, 
obsessed with you, mad at you because they can't have you. You're not focused on them. You're, you're not pouring your energy that you used to. This person's an attention seeker, an attention whore. You don't want that. <laughs> mm -mm. And they are aware that you see the real them. So they're going to come in trying to, you know, basically act like they changed. Or if they're really bold, they're going to be like, oh, well, yes, that is, yes, that is true about me. But if you love me, we will be able to move past this. No, no, you better not fall for it. You better not be like, well, that's true. Relationships are, I feel, relationship, I feel like this relationship is worth working out. You're going to be a dummy. And in their head, they're going to say, oh, that's a dummy. That's my favorite dummy. Yeah, you do that. Eat it up. This person is going to lie about letting people go to come back to you. For some of y'all, this person is letting people go. But if they have a dark attachment on them, they're still not alone. So leave this person alone because they chose a third party over you when you were the prize. <laughs> so let them stay with old homeboy or homegirl and you continue to be out of reach. Catch that fly, it's my feelings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's their karma. I don't feel bad for their dirty ass. They chose a busted, disgusted karmic over somebody who is not only a blessing from God, a prize. Do you not know a prize is beautiful, handsome? They got their shit together. They're going somewhere. You chose somebody who ain't going nowhere, who like to go out and have fun all the time. When God sent you somebody that was God sent, this person didn't even want to settle down. They chose to be in a situation ship or keep you as a situation ship. And then they didn't have the nerve to not give you their all and had the nerve to be a player with an ego on 10. <laughs> it's going to suck to suck. And then they got the nerve to be a small lip liar. They don't even have to have small lips. This to me is a tight lip person. Somebody who doesn't want to tell the truth, who refuses to tell the truth. They they refuse. They refuse. A waste of time. What does the collector need to know? <clears throat> What does the collector need to know? What does the collector need to know? What does the collector need to know? All I'm hearing is, is, is all I'm hearing is I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know how when somebody grabs you and go like this, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But they only do that because they want you to believe their lie. Because if they were sorry, they would have changed. If they were sorry, they wouldn't have done it to be sorry. God is making this person eat their words up. This person uses sex in exchange for money. Dirty. Dirty. This person, God is saying, put up something for a rainy day because you never know where life may bring you. Just, it's, it's smart to just save. It could be a dollar a day. Just put a little money away because you never know. You may end up wanting to go out of town or you may end up wanting to move or do something and you don't have any extra money because you haven't saved. So just save a little bit. This person is going through depression. But meanwhile, God is saying continue to heal and protect your heart. You may be dealing with a Gemini or you may be a Gemini. But this person listens to the opinions of others and they also have a hidden family. But God is saying he's handling everybody who wronged you because how dare they? wrong somebody who came in with love and light came in with true intentions this person is stuck sitting around crying wondering if you're moving on but they're about to come in with a hidden agenda to betray you play you use you disturb your peace stop your blessings when i say this person is coming back from the past and god said you've been through too much i may be talking to a capricorn or you may be talking to a capricorn but this person is a bad idea they only want you sexually. So God is saying walk by faith and not by sight. Continue to stand strong. 
in your voice, continue to tell the truth, tell your truth, because that's what this person don't like, the fact that you can call people out, that you see the real people, this real, the real them, the, the real demons in people, and you speak out, you speak out about it. You don't just be tight-lipped. You don't let things get by you. God is saying receive love because this person wants to come back into your life to receive your love. And they're going to try to trap you because they are controlling. And they also have been lying and making rumors up behind your back. But yet they fantasize about you and they're obsessed with you. This person is cuckoo. They want you to unblock them. And God is also saying if you haven't blocked this person, block them. Keep them blocked. Because they're going to try to come back trying to make up with you. But God is saying, you know yourself. You know your worth. Do not lower your standards. And do not lower your, your self-esteem and your worth trying to go back to somebody who basically has no self-worth. They sell their self. They sell their body for material gain. You are out of this person's league. They're going to come in and betray you. How many times have we seen betrayal? This person has anger issues as well. They're very egotistical. Well, we saw that two times. So this is somebody who's a demon. That is intrigued and obsessed with you. Intrigued, uh, intrigued and obsessed with watching who you have become. That's why they want to come in and steal it. They know that wealth is coming to you. So that's why I said in the beginning, you need to Palo Santo and Sage because there are spirits around you. There are people that are full of entities, dark ones, that want to come in and ruin your life. So God is saying, drop that dead weight. Because you are too much of a beautiful and too much of a handsome soul to allow somebody who is deadly, demonic, low energy, low vibrational, low worth, unworthy to come back to you. And then they be sitting around hurt. They over there hurt blaming you when they hurt you. I'm talking to a divine feminine, divine masculine. And I, what I say, I told you that you out of their league. They don't deserve you. So don't let this person try to come back and love bomb you. Because they're not a great match. You all are not a great match. But God is going to send you somebody who is a reflection of you. And that's what they really don't want. That's why they're trying to come in and trap you. So that you're now trapped with a karmic baby. An STD. And who going to want you then? Nobody want them problems. Someone is tripping over your spiritual growth. They are. But you see right through this person because you're a rising phoenix. No matter what people try to like bring bring you through, you rise. No matter what people do to you, you rise. No matter what type of heartbreak you go through, you heal and you rise. No matter what you have been through in your childhood, you healed yourself and you rose. And they're sitting back thinking, dang, I couldn't have done that. It wasn't for you. The path is for you because you are highly protected. What else does the collector need to know? What else does the collector need to know? What else does the collector need to know? What else? What else? What else does the collector need to know? I told you this person don't even love themselves, so how can they love you? I saw this twice, but I didn't say anything. This person is going to prison or they're in like spiritual jail because they keep trying to do magic on you. They want you to put your guard down so they can continue to play you, continue to play in your face. And God says that I'm telling you the truth. It is unsafe to love this person, but it is safe to listen to my guidance. Continue to keep hard, being hardworking. Because this person sees that you are going through a globe. They see that you are getting all your blessings and they want to come in and use you. And be aware because this person is a wannabe. <laughs> and they're hiding something. They're hiding the fact that they're going to show you fake love and they already was showing you fake love. And that they only want you sexually. God is saying separate the real from the posers. You know who's real in your life and who's fake. And so look deeper into the situation. You know the intentions of this person. I know the intentions of this person. We know the intentions of these person. These I'm hearing these people. So it's more than one people who want to come back and basically use you up. 
These people are evil. Evil. Wicked. What else is the collector need to know? 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 That these people are greedy. Like pigs. In, in like, okay. So I I didn't know how this was going to correlate. But as I was shuffling, I saw somebody baking like bacon. Like cooking bacon. And I was just like, why do I feel like they just want to eat, eat you up for breakfast? Like just basically drain you eat you just eat this feast off of whatever you you have basically made for yourself they're greedy <laughs> and this person is in a relationship so stay focused on your goals because it's a wrap for them it's a wrap for them this person is always in somebody's face I told you, always in the next cookie jar. Looking for a bigger cookie. Cold-hearted. They are a liar. They lie to make themselves look cool when they are a loser. They are an attention whore, like I said. But God is saying you're about to have a victory. And when I was saying all that, you still rise, you still rose, it's because you did. And you are a black sheep, so your family low-key hates you. God is saying call your power back because... You need all this power that you hold so that you can explode. When I say go up, go up. This person doesn't want you to leave them. They're drunk. God is saying to talk your friendships because these people want to leech off of your beautiful energy. And then you got a bunch of fake friends around you. You need to pray more because these people are broken. These people try to give you and put you into an illusion. But you see through everything. Because no weapon formed against you shall prosper. So start that business. Because it's going to prosper. Let these people stay lonely. Let these people continue to think about you. Let these people stay bitter. And let and leave these people in behind leave these people behind with their hidden families, their loveless relationships, and their STDs. God is saying, leave them behind, like I said. Because these people are energy. Vampires, I told you. God is saying, stare into these people's soul. Like, and I'm also getting, you know people. This is just, you know the soul behind the eyes of a person. You know when somebody's not right. You know when somebody's not truly genuine. You know. God is saying, do never, never question your intuition. These people are psychopaths. And you're being spiritually led to drop the dead weight, family, friends, or lovers. Because your life will never be the same. It's about to get better. But if you give this person a chance, it's going to be ruined. This person has mommy and daddy issues and they're a trickster. And their apologies mean nothing. And dealing with them will be a disappointment. They will continue to embarrass you, continue to disappoint you. They will never be what you need them to be. We're going to look at past love as well as new love. Past love, what is the collective to know about this past lover? 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 Past lover? Mm -mm, I'm seeing deception. They're gonna come in trying to show that they wanna be in a relationship. They're gonna show romantic feelings, fake love. This is not the love that you deserve. They're going to make it seem like it is. They're going to try to do everything and click off all your boxes that they know that you want out of a lover. They're going to come in with passion, sex. Very sexy. They want... Mm -mm -mm. Told you. This person going to come in with a bunch of passion, fake love, all, all sexual. They're a player. They're going to they're gonna play you dead in your face. They're going to give you a false offer like they really want to be with you god is saying do not trust this person because all they are are a flirt all they want is sex they want to reconcile with you <laughs> only because they need to they need something from you they want to hold you back literally see how this man holding this woman back male or female they're going to hold you back they're going to give you a false offer they want to act like they want to actually go to a serious relationship when they don't 
God is saying, do not be optimistic. Do not give this person your heart. Run away. Because it is not true love. It's not. This person doesn't know you. They know to owe you. They know, they have a sense. They have a vid, a delusion and, and an illusion of you in their head. They, of a dummy. That's all they. That's all they know you as. Their favorite dummy. They don't know you. And they may have be hiding children, but we saw hidden family. God is saying, love yourself first, because all this person is is lustful. Lustful. And that's very soon. They're going to come back very soon trying to express their fake love, but it's unrequited. This person has not healed from any family trauma, any childhood issues, any any trauma of any kind. This is not worth waiting for. This person is nothing but codependent. They have been demoted from a soulmate. They do, they do not deserve to have any type of form of love connection with you. All they are are chemistry. They are just sexual, lustful. A disappointment new love only I'm channeling in new love new love only I'm channeling in new love what is a new love gonna be like for the collective what is a new love gonna be like what is a new love gonna be like what is a new love gonna be like new love New love. What is the new love gonna be like? It's gonna be a past life relationship that God wants you to give a chance. They also have been doing the work, healing themselves. God is saying it's gonna be safe to love this person. You all will have chemistry. It will be very, very like loving. And this is the type of love that you deserve. They will be showing you romantic feelings real feelings god is just saying let go of you know codependency issues or controlling issues like you want to control the situation you're going to be able to trust this person you all will end up being engaged end up having a long lasting relationship but first you need to release your ex because they already have a family yeah yeah with this new person it's going to be a bunch of attraction it's going to be fire desire this person is going to be your soulmate and it's going to be worth waiting for. But first you have to let go of this codependent ex that has a bunch of red flags. Because your true love is coming very soon. I thank you all for watching. And if you haven't heard it today, I love you. And keep on breaking down the narcissist in your life, baby, because they're only giving you blessings. Every time you pass a test, what happened? A blessing come. A blessing come. So, confirmation. Continue to break the heart of a narcissist. And I also want to thank everybody who has been donating to my channel, who has been giving me super thanks, as well as booking readings with me. When I say it is the best thing in the world to know that y'all actually love me like I love y'all. And um, I appreciate all the sweet comments and all the support and all the love. Don't ever stop. Don't ever stop being you. And don't ever stop smashing the ego of a big old loser. Big old king, queen, roach. Anyway, I'll see y'all on the next one.